Hello, and welcome to a Thursday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword, best day of the week. Today we're going to do Thursday, June 29th, 2023 crosswords, and go for that 1217 day streak. So here's your spoiler alert for the Thursday mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. Alright, let's do it. Chi, uh, chess, heat, ink, uh, wrap, and BFG. BFG, the big friendly giant. Got Tai Chi, question of time, morning meal, and ah, I see, breakfast and fast break. That's kind of nice. Fast break in basketball is when uh, sort of running down the court ahead of the defenders. E4, E5, I don't know what that opening is called. I'm sure some of you can tell me but I do know the big friendly giant. Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Thursday Daily Grid, which is by Simeon Siegel today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. Thursday is the, the trickiest themed puzzle of the week, so it's my, uh, my favorite day. Today, I see we have these interesting circled squares. They don't look like normal circles. They look a bit thicker, and something like that. Anyway, let's see what uh, Simeon Siegel has in store for us. Let's get into it. Runs through. European capital that uses the Cyrillic alphabet. Could be something like Minsk. Serious. Okay. Network where impractical jokers originated. Okay. This is Ang Lee, I think. Members of the genus Apis, Apis, or Bees. First name in Pilsners. This maybe Stabs. Okay. Demi Bra, Club you Order. Maybe it's BLT, Old Time Poker. Cross breeds smaller than ligers. These are Tigons. Garment providing lower back support during pregnancy and mes measure roughly equivalent to a burning match. Bit of calorie. Features of the flags. Uh, this is a tree. One sixth of the world's ground surface until 91. SSRs. Carrots. Member of the genus Vespa, Hornet. They do betters, one better razors. Asylum seeker, maybe refugee. Heavenly messengers. Oh, Angelis. This is USSR. And it's BTU there. Captain's emergency quarters. Grubs. This is RBG. Sirius catch in a way. Sophia. True TV. Grave and here. Okay. This is an SLR. Stella. Patagonian Prairie is a Yano. Elia Kazan. Sharing in a symbol of commitment or what four rows in this puzzle are doing to form new phrases. Uh, not sure. This is land in interview. Sheath of connected tissue. French clog, in the root of an English word meaning disrupt. Not sure. Period of concealed development. Energy industry transport. Okay. Reacted purposely when handed the ball. Ran with it. Sweet talk is probably woo. Any Simpsons character. Tune. Latency. Big baddie is an ogre. Shout out to ogre. Luminance. America's first vice, so to speak. Adams, explicit. Okay. Odd fellows informally. Tittle, a dot. You don't say. Dismissible. Creator of US flood maps. Okay. FEMA and moot. Free to pursue other opportunities. Dysphemistically. Heap of junk. Borax for one. Okay. Phasmophobic sphere was clear as a bell question mark. Vehicle with a spotlight and mist plates, most likely. The cop car, Cabo. This is Ovid. This is an ode. Some kind of pile. Scrap pile or something. Provides lodging for. 
birthplace of Zeus in Greek myth. This is eighty-eight, so maybe it's Crete. Digs in the winter? Question mark. Slip, cat vis-a-vis -vis milk. Lapper. This could be gear. Game of catch tag, I guess. Enable. Uh, okay. Very tight squeeze. Letters of interest. Maybe it's APR. Error. Harpo Productions, that's Oprah's. Bear Hug. Port Tower. Port Tower, a tug. This is ACLU. This is Slur. It's a ghost? Could be. This is SSN. Was clear as well. Maybe just something like Rang. Sheen. an S here, Tess. Sharing and a symbol of commitment. Uh, exchanging rings. So horse trainers, if you exchange the rings, the N for the S here. Here we have travel agency. Something in, okay, not enough. I need to solve more of the puzzle. This is a lance. A Kohler, I think. Belly band. C something. What many beachgoers do. I don't know about belly band, actually. Start running now. Axed. Scrap pile, I think. Chemical. Okay. Uh, pitch in. Hitching post. Okay. Stated. Maybe this is creates billets. Ballet slipper. Okay. So I just need to figure out this. I don't know this. Uh... Start running now. Uh, hmm. Okay. Because I don't know this. Randos? Maybe just belly band. Go, go? Is that... Any chance? I just don't know what this is. The cabin? Oh, maybe this is just... Bake. Okay, go. Okay, go. Why isn't that, uh... Include as the band. <laughs> For once, that would have helped. All right, so we've got an exchanging ring puzzle with, I think, appropriate Thursday difficulty all around. And we've got this interesting feature that if you exchange a single letter in the first word with a single letter in the second, you can mush them together into a new phrase. Although, you know, the, uh, the ring part of this is really contrived, right? The only reason that this is exchanging rings is because rings were placed in the puzzle. Uh, these words are not exchanging rings in any actual way. They're just exchanging letters. Uh, you know, I could draw I could draw a dog in each of these squares and say, exchanging dogs, that doesn't make it a dog puzzle. I don't think it's really an exchanging rings puzzle. Um, but I guess it's a use of the circles uh, I guess, you know, one of my favorite things to do is to see what this looks like in newspaper and in print. So we can take a look at the newspaper version. Yeah, they're also 
doubled circles, essentially. And, uh, what if you got just to print it out thing? Ah, in the printout version, you just get single circles. Of course, you know, single circles are also rings. So, honestly, this, this single circles, circles make them seem a, a bit less contrived, because that's more of a, just a common crossword thing. Making them look look like rings sort of points out that the rings are an added feature. Yeah, so honestly, I think I think here the extra art is a detriment. I think the extra art is a detriment, but Hornet Razors becomes horse trainers. It's nice that like the you know, you have to parse it in a separate place. Grave latency becomes travel agency. Pitch in ghost becomes hitching post and billets lapper, which is both of those are like slightly questionable, I'd say. Uh, becomes ballet slipper. But in each case, you have to like shift a word over to reparse it, a letter over to reparse it. You know, or you just cram them together. So I guess that's nice, right? You exchange the, the rings and then you cram the words together. <laughs> they commit to each other. Anyway, that's enough. Uh, pontificating on the theme let's look take a look through take a look through this puzzle and this is like if you run through someone you run someone through with a sword or something i guess a blt is kind of like a club-ish sandwich shout out to john who loves club sandwiches a yeah, british thermal unit we've got vespa crossing epis we've got a lot of like real trivia-ish stuff in this grid i feel like Starting at the top. Um, Kohler. I guess that's a boat that transports coal. Sabot. This is also kind of trivia-esque. I mean, I didn't know it. Oh, and I, I, I see. They're trying to tell you that, oh, it's related to the word sabotage. That helps you figure out if you you've got it correct. Okay, fair enough. Quite technical. This is like the dot on the I or the J. It's called a tittle. So that's also kind of a vocab quiz. Yeah, plasmophobic sphere. F sorry, phasmophobic sphere. I feel like this has got a lot of energy like that. And billets. Lodge soldiers in a particular place, especially a civilian's house or other non-military facility. That's pretty technical, I gotta say. And then lapper. That's like a contrived er as well. That's in Bulgaria. I, something over here. Oh, okay, no, I'll see it soon. You know, there's a, a cedar tree on the flag of Lebanon, but what's on the flag of Belize? Ah, it's not. It's not as beautiful as the flag of Lebanon, I have to say. Mahogany trees. I think the flag of Lebanon is a. It's kind of a beautiful, simple, simple flag. Sea cabin. Sea cabin are necessarily emergency quarters. I mean, I've never heard of sea cabin. Whoops. Emergency cabin near a ship's bridge for the use of captains and officers. To me, this is like a word list word that you then look up what it means after you've put it in your puzzle. Kind of like ran with it, though. Okay, go. I would have preferred the band for once. Yeah, shout out to Ogre, who thinks that Ogres get a bad rap. And this is a classic uh, crossword misdirect. Tower rather than tower. You know, flower for ri river, but it looks like flower. Stuff like that you always have to be on the lookout for. This is a fun fact about Ovid. 
ou wijn. Ja. Um, like I said, I think here the, the, the grid, attempt at grid art actually makes it worse. I think circles, which you then interpret as rings, is actually better. Uh, but that's a, that's a small nit to pick, and also if you print it out, that's actually what you got. Um, oh yeah, I should look up belly band, which I just didn't know. Ah, I see. Shout out to all expecting mothers out there. Let's, uh, let's take a look at some stats. I think that's going to be actually kind of slow for a Thursday these days. But, you know, Thursdays should be difficult, I think. That's part of what makes them fun. So, take it. And uh, let's do the plus word, shall we? Here's a spoiler alert for the plus word. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. Plus word is free to play. Offered by the Telegraph. Let's do it. Wireless. Maybe it's radio. Spread. Range. This is Ag Agora. Demanding performers. Uh, oh, it's radio. Divas. Useless. Nept. And ogles. Okay, that all looks okay. Uh, so there's a D. Could definitely be here. Could it be... It can't be livid. Could be vivid, though. It is vivid. Yeah, the wireless. Radio being called a wireless strikes me as quite British. So he's starting off pretty strong at one across in terms of British quotient, let's say. Awkwardly plural Easts. If you have a, like a spread of possibilities or something, a range of possibilities. Yeah. That's pretty pretty British at the top. Not so British throughout the rest of it. Anyway. Last thing we do before we go here is take a look at the mini leaderboard for tomorrow, where we've got just me on this uh, Wednesday evening and on the old secret leaderboard. Nobody yet. Hope you're all enjoying your Wednesday evening. It's, uh, it's hump day, I guess. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for some Friday puzzles. See you then.